Bossing, skilling, guides. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? It is Scuzzy, and welcome to official episode one of the Ain't Got a Clue series. Um, from what I can see right now, um, you guys want this to be a series, which is cool. I don't know if you can hear me bobbing uh, back and forth in my seat because I'm a little bit excited to be actually starting the Clue Scroll grind. I believe I have all the items that I need in my inventory and in my worn for someone who doesn't have all the um, the globe trotter. Globe, I'm gonna probably say that a lot. Gro globe trotter outfit pieces. Um, I'm just wear wearing the witch doctor mask, a skills necklace. So to do Clue Scrolls, you gotta teleport a lot. To teleport. Uh, you can either use lodestones, which is okay, I guess, but there are other and better ways to um, get around RuneScape. So at the bottom here, if you can look where my mouse cursor is, uh, don't really pay attention to the buttons that this keybind to. That's just how my defensive bar was set up down here. But I've switched that with uh, all of these. So we have the Witch Doctor Mask, we have an Attuned Crystal Teleport Seed, a Traveler's Necklace, although um, the C here uh, means that it's compacted, by the way. I used an Invention Compactor item thingamadoodad, and I basically, it ha it doesn't have unlimited teleports, but it has, um, like, you don't have, you, you can just pull this one out and then just teleport using that, as opposed to um, having to upload a preset each time and then it going down um at a, a use so and i've done that with a lot of these items so i have the games necklace compacted i've got a ring of slaying compacted i've got uh the ring of dueling compacted uh dig site pendant compacted amulet of glory compacted and a skills necklace there's two yeah so skills necklace is on me so but that's just if i want to basically <clears throat> the idea is uh, I click this and I can just go to the next spot or I can do shift W it's gonna get me it's gonna take me a little bit to remember all these keybinds and stuff but I can just click on this it will wear it then I click it again and it will teleport me to the wizards wizards tower or um, yeah see I don't know if this is even a, a viable uh, teleport because I can just go to my wicked hood and teleport to the top of the tower so there's that so I want to go over right now just very briefly I know it's it's not brief at all but um, the dungeoneering cape and the slayer cape are also teleports but I've put them in a specific spot the everything in my inventory is in a specific spot for a specific reason and I want to show you something because it's pretty cool and it makes the gameplay a little bit faster even if it's just like half a second so all I need to do is right click left click and then I can or you know I could just click it and then uh, activate which is another way to do it but um, I like the fact that I can just right click left click and then I can say let, let's say I want to go to Edgeville dungeon not that I would need that for a clue but I can do that really fast if I want to go to use a slayer cape to go I don't know mask us because there's a Thing in the woods or something I don't know we can do that and that's a little bit closer than using my uh, ring of slaying where I could do this rub it and then go to Mauritania Slayer Tower which is uh, you know like four four ways to do it but this one's very close to here I do want to make sure that I have enough items open in my inventory but I want to show you really quickly all the stuff at the top is one click options so Zek to feel uh, I'm not gonna click all of them. Spirit tree, tree re rooter, um, big book of piracy, dragon's medallion, a tuned crystal teleport seed. And then I have all of the items for. Um, basically, I have to wear them to activate them, or I can kind of just go rub. But you know, I don't really like doing that. I'd rather basically if it's on here, it is also lined up for the most part. For the necklaces, all I could uh, got to do is that, which is nice. 
Um, I am wearing that one, but let's see the dig the dig site pendant. Just right click, left click, which is nice. Um, I will have to move that around a little bit more, but if we go down to the bottom here, so these are also right click, left click. So, but I want to have my mouse kind of towards the bottom of it, so I could go to Narda really quick. I can go to the um, Wizard's Tower really quickly. I can teleport to Damonheim really quickly, and I can use my Tuckle Zo uh, really quickly. This one you have to kind of go a little bit to the middle top area. This is Teleport Six H Circuit. This is Teleport on the Menaphos Journal, which for the Menaphos Journal I have um, the different districts in my bank. So there's a, just multiple different teleports you can have going there, and then. Same with the ARC journal. I just went and bought a couple of those from the shop. And then the last one is just my treasure trail collection log and it has like a weird logo. So um, that's all good and dandy. I'm probably gonna have to shorten that because that was six minutes of commentary. But um, I just kind of wanted to explain um, why I have each item the Shard of Ma and the Tyrannian Quiver for, are both for scan clues. And I don't know anything about that, but it's what my friend Omni Goku said. And before I, I forget, shout out to my friend Magnetic. He is a really cool dude, and he's going to be doing clue scrolls, clue scrolls with me. So I don't know if you guys want to see maybe some of his loot uh, from his, but we're going to be both doing that. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get into some of the clues. You just see that? I just did two clues in the same spot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you know what? I actually have a better teleport than that. Um, I could probably... Actually, you know what? It might not be a better teleport. About the same. No, it's a better teleport. The head in the box is a better teleport for here. Oh, uh, we're gonna talk to this guy. Ah, oh, freaking puzzle.
Okay, cool. So I completed 25 of the hard treasure trails. I'm going to go to the um, max yield. I'm going to grab them all out. Make sure I have my luck of the dwarves on. I guess I'll open the 24 here. Okay, so I decided to do another hard. Um, so I have 25 now, but did you just see that? And like, I don't understand what is up with these glitches, uh, these white box glitches. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to. Ooh, you know what? I need to put on the, the luck of the dwarves because I uh, I had almost forgot about that. So uh, I also want to have this out as well. So maybe we'll open them at this chest. All right, guys. I've never done this. I'm, well, obviously, I did it once last video, but I haven't done it in a long time. So I'm actually kind of nervous and giddy for this to open. For... for I'm just going to open them. So, I guess I'll comment on what I get each time. Uh, 159k, that's pretty garbage. Okay, that's that's worse. I'm going to re-roll that, which is pretty cool. Okay, some more garbage. Nice, a Bandor's Miter. Uh, garbage. Really garbage. Oh, cool. Bandos page two. We got three of those. Uh, let's see. You composite bow. Cool. Don't look like there's anything really there. It's kind of nice to get these teleports, though. I know what people were saying. Now, I'm going to keep that one, actually. Uh, that's not bad. I'm also going to keep that. As long as I get a fortunate component, I will keep it. I think that's fair. Ooh, cool. I'm going to keep that because it is, it's not a fortunate item, but it's going to be for the log. Uh, I'm going to reroll that, to be honest. Not skipping tickets. Okay, so I haven't done any not um, puzzles yet, but I will once I get to my elites. Saradome and Crozier. So fortunate. Ooh, nice. Three Zamorak page one. And I thought the Mystic Staff was something. Okay, so we got a Rune Plate Body H4 and a Magic Composite Bow. I believe that one is a fortunate as well. Um, I'm going to re-roll that. And I'm going to keep that. I'm going to re-roll that one. Nice. Two items in there. That's pretty good. Oh, nice! We got a master. Cool. I'll do that one. Uh, I'll do that one in this video as well. That'll be cool. I'm definitely gonna re-roll that one though. Uh, just as bad. Uh, it's terrible. Oh my god, these are terrible. Oh, nice! We got another master. Sweet. Cool. Uh, and this is the last one. Ooh, biscuits, man. Do I re-roll that? I mean, it's got it's got a it's got a fortunate. I'm gonna keep that. So um I'm gonna go do these two masters and then I will open those. Alright, so I finished those two masters. I'm excited to get them open. So I'm gonna open them right now. Ugh. <laughs> uh those are disappointing. Okay, well, anyhow, uh, I'm going to look at the stats on here. Um, I did 26 hard and two masters. What I want to look at is where... Oh, you know what? It's the read option is what I want to look at. So, general, we got some Zamorak pages, Bandos pages, uh, a good amount of the Firelighters, some Purple Sweets, some Biscuits, a couple of the Teleports, pretty cool. Um, for you composite bows and magic composite bow. I'm not going to go over this list each time, but I've got 18 out of 68, which is nice. And then we can go to the hards and we can see that we got actually not that many. We only got six out of the 118. Um, must've got a bunch of duplicates. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, well, that's going to happen though. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that episode again. If you want to participate in, 
uh, telling me which clue scroll I have to do next, then please put in the comments. Make sure it is one of the hard or the elites. I have a stack of 25 elites that I'm going to do, so most likely um, put one of the elites, please, because uh, it's the way it's going to work is it's going to be the episode after I do it. So this will actually take effect on episode two, and then episode three will uh, be the first episode that you guys are actually deciding which ones I do. So, but as far as the master clue rewards, I have unfortunately zero out of the 64, but we'll get that one up. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and let me know if you enjoyed. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling